Paul, a pleasure to have you back with us. It's always great to be here. So, you know, the old paradigm of calories in, calories out, and the whole paradigm of counting our calories, how does, how does that work? How does the old paradigm work when we're looking at ketogenic diets? Well, it's really interesting because a lot of people interpret the whole premise of the ketogenic diet as indicating that the calories in, calories out hypothesis doesn't work, but that's actually not the case. It's, it is a fact that the first law of thermodynamics is that you have to burn more energy than you take in, otherwise you can't lose weight. And there's no way of getting around that. But that is entirely consistent with the ketogenic diet and the metabolic advantage that you get from a ketogenic diet. Because what happens on a ketogenic diet is both parts of that equation, how much you're putting in and how much you're burning, are enhanced. So if we have a look at how much you're eating, so when your body produces ketones, they have a potent appetite suppressant effect. And there's lots of research to demonstrate this. If we do a finger prick blood test and confirm that you have ketones in your circulation, we know for a fact that your appetite is going to be less than it otherwise would have been. And a lot of people will instinctively reduce their meals to one or two meals a day when they're in ketosis without any prompting at all. And I see that day in, day out in the clinic. So that's the first part of the equation in terms of reducing uh, what's going in. And then even more excitingly for me perhaps is that you end up with an increased involuntary energy expenditure, even at rest. And this has been demonstrated in several studies. So perhaps one of the most impressive studies was where people lost 10% of their body weight on either a low fat or a high fat diet. And then their resting metabolism was measured. And it was found that the people who had lost weight on a high fat diet had a far higher resting energy expenditure. And that was equivalent to the amount of energy that you would expend riding a bike for an hour a day. So it wasn't an inconsequential amount. And if you put both of those factors together, that you're on a ketogenic diet, you're less hungry, you put less food in, and two, your energy expenditure increases over and above what it would have been if you're on a low-fat diet, then that really gives you a huge metabolic advantage. And that ties in very, very nicely with the old calories in, calories out hypothesis. Yes, it's true that you can lose weight on either a low-fat or a high-fat diet, but the simple fact is a high-fat ketogenic diet makes it so much easier to lose weight than a low-fat diet. And all the evidence, the randomised control trials, demonstrate that if you're trying to lose weight, a high-fat diet is best. So the quality of our calories do count? Absolutely. This, the impact they have on our energy expenditure and our appetite really does matter. Paul, thank you again for joining us. Always a pleasure.